good morning. My name is Royal. I'm uh, in my back porch in Hearst, Texas. It is sunrise. I'm here to do my morning devotional. And uh, here's my question for you. This is for Thursday, June the 8th. Um, when you think about, as a Christian, you know, our job is to become more like Jesus and, is, and to live our lives as much like Jesus in our uh, culture as we can. Obviously, we're uh, not living in the same culture Jesus lived in, but we're to represent him well. Uh, what I hear a lot of times is, well, Roy, I'm not Jesus. You know, I'm not Jesus. You're not Jesus either. Well, no, you're right. We're not. But God has empowered us to be like Jesus, and he did that with the life of Jesus, with the Holy Spirit in our lives. So, uh, so how are you at living your life like Jesus on the job and with your family and in your neighborhood and at ball games and wherever else and whatever else you do. Dude, it's early and it's good coffee. Let's start off with a prayer, morning prayer. Father God, today may we keep your name holy, but may we keep you above every other name. Uh, would you give us what we need to be who you want us to be? Lord, uh, would you forgive us for our sins and uh, remind us of the sins we need to be forgiven for? Father God, will um, may we forgive those who hurt us so that we're better and not bitter. Lord, would you protect us from the negative influences in our life and the many temptations. And uh, Lord, we will give you glory for everything that happens today, good or bad, because we know you want us to grow through those and we pray that in Jesus' name, amen, amen. So we're in 2 Peter this week, and uh, 2 Peter 1, 3, 2 Peter 1, 3. So this, by his divine power, by his godly power, because God is God, okay? God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. So as you learn how to live your life like Jesus and you see how the Bible says we're to live our lives and we encourage each other as Christians to live our lives, we aren't doing it just on our own. We're not humans just out here trying to do it on our own manpower. We're doing it with divine power, which makes you able to do that. It makes you able to forgive someone that you didn't think you could forgive. It makes you able to be nice to someone you didn't think you could be nice to. It makes you able to, to uh, make it through some, some things you never thought you could make it through, grieve in ways that non-Christians can't grieve. You know what I'm saying, all of that. God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know him, the one who called us to himself by means of his marvelous glory and excellence. So today, today, really, what would Jesus do? Be what Jesus would be. And you can do that, not on your own power, but divine power. Here is my prayer for today. Thank you, Lord, for loving and blessing me. I know you have made it possible for me to live for you. I am to blame when I make the choice to disobey you, for you have given me the power to live like Jesus. I am so thankful that when I make the wrong choices, I am covered by your mercy, grace, and love. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to make this all possible. He is my savior. He is my example. Lord, I want to be like Jesus. Ah, that's encouraging to me. I hope it's encouraging to you. Please pass it on to others who need encouraging. Uh, let me know how it goes. Make some comments. Share. You know the drill. Uh, encourage other people. I will see you tomorrow, the good Lord will, and in the creek don't rise. But until then, love God and love people, and you'll change the world. And God starts with you. God bless.